about 15 to 20 percent of the Swedish population carry this parasite. Most of the individuals that carry it have absolutely no problems uh, or symptoms with it, but it's a problem for risk groups such as pregnant women or uh, individuals that ha are immunosuppressed. it will make these immune cells move and move around in the body. And it does this by a very clever, in a very clever way. It will communicate with the cell through um, signal molecules. And one of them is calcium. And that signaling will make this immune cell to move and thereby to disseminate the parasite maybe to the lungs, to the, the heart or to the brain. It's a parasite, an infection that many people worldwide carry and it's also a parasite that we can use to learn more about how a larger group of parasites including malaria uh, is causing uh, disease, so it helps us to understand in basically the basic mechanisms of infection and that could be useful to understand many different diseases.